guys. So today I want to try something a little different. I just thought, why not just do like a Corona, Corona, Corona. Just do like a coronavirus video to the point where I'm just like watching some videos that's like a little funny or whatever, you know, to lighten up the mood. If you hear like people walking or like footsteps, um, my family is like upstairs, so yeah, you might hear people walking. But anyway, right. here we go. Let's get into the video. A Bankstown mother and daughter have been charged after a fight over toilet paper in Woolworths. The vision of the shoppers arguing with another woman went viral as supermarkets impose new purchase limits yeah, to curb coronavirus hysteria. The fight over toilet paper that went viral around the world. I just want one pack. No, not one pack. Now the 60-year-old mother and her 23-year-old daughter, who were wheeling a trolley full of rolls at Woolworths Chalora, have been charged with a fray and are due in court next month. I cannot understand the logic. Uh, we have a big factory in Penrith that produces toilet paper. Investigators spoke to the other woman, a 49-year-old, who'd allegedly been assaulted, but she wasn't injured. The incident, one of several at Australian supermarkets, as desperation for toilet paper reaches irrational levels. Everybody, please stay calm and be rational. We have everything we need. For the second time in a week, Woolworths and Coles have been forced to crack down on the number of toilet paper packs allowed to be purchased. At Woolies, customers are now limited to just two. But here at Coles, it's down to just one per person. We have asked our suppliers to focus on increasing production of larger pack sizes. A pack of 30 rolls should last an average family for around three weeks. We can all get enough toilet paper if we all calm down a little bit. Hannah Sinclair, Nine News. Remind me not to go to Australia for any toilet paper, basically. Nope. Okay. Okay, so this video say the real reason people are buying a bunch of toilet paper. So maybe they can come up with a reason why this is all happening. Toilet paper is disappearing around the globe and nobody is taking it sitting down. The New York Post reported that it has triggered fistfights in supermarket aisles in Australia, where one family inadvertently contributed to the crisis by ordering 48 boxes of toilet paper instead of 48 rolls, roughly 12 years worth. Now she's sitting very comfortably on more than 2,000 rolls. The BBC reported on an audacious armed robbery at dawn in Hong Kong. And in Japan, Sora News said that one shopkeeper decided the only way to protect his restroom from desperate toilet paper thieves was to draw up traditional curses to protect his stash of spare loo rolls. All over the world, news of the potentially widespread COVID-19 coronavirus infection has sent folks to supermarkets and drugstores looking to hoard essentials from face masks and hand sanitizers to non-perishable food yeah. items like canned goods look at this store right now like it's empty empty that was a store it looked like a warehouse with nothing in it that's crazy that is crazy it's oat milk ramen and yes toilet paper shoppers in different countries were driven by different reasons for buying out toilet paper in China, folks who had no access to surgical masks went for toilet paper because, as Australian academic Nikita Garg said, there's a thinking that toilet paper can be substituted for tissues and napkins and to make makeshift masks. In Taiwan, toilet paper flew off the shelves because there were rumors that the island's paper stocks were being used to make surgical masks, which... Okay, I would rather use a... I would rather use paper towel as a surgical mask. It seemed like that would work better because it's thicker. But then toilet paper don't have as many holes in it as 
paper towels. Some paper towels have like holes in it, but I don't know. It just seems as though paper towels would be better to use it as masks. I don't know. Okay. Subsequently affect toilet paper supplies. Authorities later had to deny that this was the case. In the case of countries like the United States, Canada, and Australia, panic buying and the need to hold on to as much toilet paper as one can carry is most likely driven by fear of the unknown, not by any proven or actual need for more toilet paper. Clinical psychologist Stephen Taylor explained to CNN, when people are told something dangerous is coming, but all you need to do is wash your hands, the action doesn't seem proportionate to the threat. Special danger needs special precautions. It doesn't help that news reports showing empty shelves urge people to believe that they're missing out if they don't go out and get more toilet paper right now. There is an element of where you actually do get drawn into that, a psychology where you feel like you may uh, miss out, a fear of missing out. In Ireland, shoppers admitted to the Irish Times that all the panic buying was admittedly over the top, but they were doing it anyway. Researchers at INSEAD Singapore, where the city's toilet paper supplies were compromised early on in the crisis, said the panic buying there was also driven by an element of retail therapy. Except instead of spending money on the latest gadgets and fashion, folks bought useful items, as shopping for those things reinforced their sense of control over the crisis. People are also spurred by the idea that a community coronavirus outbreak could result in quarantine or a lockdown, which will impose restrictions on their freedom of movement. Psychologist Baruch Fishoff told CNN, Unless people have seen official promises that everyone will be taken care of, they are left to guess at the probability of needing the extra toilet paper sooner rather than later. The fact that there are no official promises might increase those probabilities. More than anything else, there is a need to have a sense of control over a situation whose outcome no one can currently predict. And buying toilet paper could be one way of getting to grips with an unknown. Fishoff said, depending on how people estimate the chances of needing the toilet paper, the hassle might be worth it. If it gave them the feeling that they had done everything that they could, it might free them to think about other things than coronavirus. But they think they know why people bought a lot of toilet paper. I think I know why people bought a lot of toilet paper. You can use it for earplugs if you have a loud baby. You can use it for nose plugs if you have a runny nose. <laughs> you can also use it as a sleeping mask. If you want to keep the light out your eyes. <sighs> and if you ever run out of food, you can eat it. No, you can't. That was disgusting. Wait. He got a plastic bottle. A plastic bottle on his head? He got a whole jug on his head. Kind of look like Sandy Cheeks. If you ask me. Sandy? Is that you? So this, this is police in China. They're forcing a family into quarantine. Wow. Y'all, this is real life. Real life. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bias against China. Wait, he said that? That's what he called it? Come on, are you serious? These Americans in this country, your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people say it's China. racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. 
comes from China. I want to be accurate. Yeah, please, John. Please. Why didn't he just call it the coronavirus? Why would he just, why would he say that? That's our president. <laughs> that is our president. He's our president. That's all I can say. That's our president. I have great love uh, for all of the people from our country. But uh, as you know, China tried to say at one point, maybe they're stuffed now, that it was caused by American soldiers. That can't happen. It's not going to happen. Not as long as I'm president. Uh, it comes from China. And he didn't deny it though. Like he didn't deny it. He like owned it. Like it comes from China. China is where it comes from. China. Yo, this man have no shame in his game. Like none. Not even just a little bit. None. It comes from China. 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 Like, why would you say that? Because it comes from China. Here's your check whenever you're ready. I'm actually ready now. I'm in kind of a hurry. Thank you. We don't take cash. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. My bad. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 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 Well, we take toilet paper. Okay, that should cover it. And then I've got your tip right here. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Oh, thank you. I'm going to start paying with toilet paper and see what happens. You know what I find really interesting is the different ways that each generation seems to be dealing with this whole corona thing. Like, on the one hand, the boomers are freaking out, buying everything on the shelves, fucking losing their damn minds because CNN tells them that they should. And then on the other hand... Um, my generation and younger are already waiting for the next trend to start. I'm bored of this. Let's do something else. Like, what he just said was like, it was honestly true. Like, we're just waiting for it to be over. Like, we know that it's going to be over soon. Hopefully. <laughs> like, we're waiting it out. Baby, what is the new trend? <laughs> feel bad for class of 2020 hopefully y'all don't have to graduate like that <clears throat> yeah i don't know we took that trip to china and it's like we just got back ever since i literally had this like really bad cough yeah it keeps getting worse you really think it's the corona um, no it can't be hold on i heard corona oh yeah, yeah i'm gonna have to get the marriage we're gonna have to dip um you're gonna have to go what did i do wrong oh, don't get too close I didn't do anything. Have to I just have a cold. You don't have to go. I have a cold. I'm sorry. We don't, we don't do that here. I'm going to have to call the manager. You're kicking me out because I have a cold? Yeah. We don't do that here. Hold on. I got some for you. Hold on. Yo, Walmart? <laughs> Walmart, y'all. Y'all, Walmart is not to be played with there. I'm not saying like, because, okay, yeah, you know, the coronavirus. But I'm just saying there are people, the workers, where do they find these workers? It's like all of their workers are rude. I mean, not saying that that was rude, but that was kind of... She's like, we don't do that here. Not at Walmart. Y'all can do that. You can do that at Target. But Walmart, we don't do that here. No. Mm-mm. Bye. Nah. Nah, I'm going to have to get the manager. <laughs> but, I mean, I do kind of... I do understand where she's coming from, but... Dang! Like, these Walmart employees be, like, <laughs> special type of employees. Be kind and share the toilet paper. Please. I need some.